So, did you ever learn how to check your tire pressure in driver's ed? Um, no. You want to check the inside driver's door. And there's a little sticker right here that tells you how much tire pressure you need to put in. When we get out a tire pressure gauge, and I highly recommend either a dial gauge like this or a digital tire pressure gauge. Either one are worth it around $10 or less. Best investment you can have for any car for the rest of your life, and you only need one. So show me how to check tire pressure. Very good. So do you know what happens when tire pressure is low? If it's low enough, it can actually start making the tires uh, flex more and actually can heat it up and it can actually explode. Right. It affects your braking, your handling, your performance, and especially your wet traction. <laughs> She's moved into her car. <laughs> oh, yes, we do have a spare tire under here. Very good. What does it say? Just under 30. And what did it say on the door inside the door placard? 60. Oh, 60. Yeah. So you, you do your Nana a favor, mm -hmm. put air in this so that it's at 60. Because if she ever has a flat mm -hmm. and someone says they'll help her, she'll be driving on another flat. Do you know if you have enough tread on your tires? No, I... I really don't know how to check that. <laughs> okay, well, let me show you. So first you want to get a penny, okay? okay? And you place Lincoln upside down. If you can see half of his head, then your tread okay. is good. If you see his whole head, then that means you need new tires. So, so mine look pretty good. Yeah. Good. You're perfect. <laughs>